All right, so I know I haven't vlogged in a while. We've been up for quite a while now. It's like 3.30 in the morning. Uh, we worked most of the day. And actually, if you can see right behind me, uh, we just had that installed today. It's a brand new lift. It wasn't that expensive. It was just a cheap China lift. I'll try to do a review on it. If anybody ever does need a lift, it was like 2300 installed and shipped to your door. So it's very cheap, but it gets the job done. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we've got a few cars in. The wagon's in because she was going to polish it, but we ran out of the polishing pads. So we got to get those, and then she's going to polish the car. Then we have her car on the lift for the LS3 swap. Underneath it, we have another car that's getting a complete CCV kit and cooling system with the radiator and all that. And right now, she is painting. So she actually painted this whole wall right here. She's painting that table thing black. And this is our Hot Wheels collection. This is not even a quarter of it. We've got a bunch more. But we're gonna try to make a few more display cases like this around the shop. But what really pisses me off is this floor. So before we got here, someone had epoxied the floor. And apparently they etched the concrete and did everything. And everything is just peeling everywhere. Like you could peel off most of this stuff with your fingernails. And they supposedly they put the very expensive coating that's supposed to not chip or do anything like that. They sanded the concrete and all of that, but it still did. So I think I'm probably gonna end up buying some cheap coating just to cover it up, because obviously it's gonna keep chipping, but it looks so bad. But anyways, here's a new lift. We got a one series on there for a clutch and flywheel replacement. But anyways, let's take a look at what I'm working on right now, I'm trying to finish this car up. Uh, customer's gonna be picking it up tomorrow. Pull off the manifold, we're doing the whole CCV kit, changing all the vacuum lines, and changing all the coolant hoses, including the hard plastic lines underneath the manifold. So we're gonna change all that out, all the heater hoses, pretty much every part of the cooling system is getting replaced. But I'm um, running into issues pulling out this fan. This fan is seized on the water pump, which is why I tell everybody that they should do an electric fan conversion, so that never happens. But we'll figure it out, and I'll check back in once, I'm, once I've made some more progress. All right, so we brought the wagon in, and I am replacing the trim. Um, all the wood trim, I'm replacing it with this ZHP trim. So I just did this part, and it honestly looks really good. I mean, with the beige, it's not, you know, the best combination, but um, we do plan on, on replacing the whole interior with a different color. Uh, but for now, I think it looks good. So, yeah, I'm just going to do it to all of the trim. And, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Done? <laughs> I scared you. Uh, that's why I don't talk. I don't work it. Oh, whatever. Yeah, well, um, he put the transmission back on and now, yeah. I'm putting all the bolts back in. And yep. then it's done. Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Life. As you guys see, we got a busy, busy day. All the cars outside. We got a bunch of cars in here that we gotta finish up. We got this E46 with EML light issues. More than likely it's a throttle body. But I pull everything off, check it all out, see what we gotta do there. Then we've got the other E46 in the back uh, that's just finishing up with the full cooling system, uh, heat, the hard lines underneath the manifold as well, uh, CCV kit, all that good stuff. We had to wait on parts for that. I actually had that taken apart a few days back. But all the parts are here. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Then we also have the wagon in here, which uh, Selena was polishing, but we're probably gonna end up pulling that out so we can make some space for some of the cars outside. For right now, I'm about to go ahead and pull most of those cars out on the street because obviously I only get four parking spots and I'm taking up like 13 of them. So I'm about to put some of the cars on the street that way everybody else can get their parking back. It's almost like 6.30 in the morning. I wish I could just park them on the street every day, but I tried that once, so I ended up getting like three parking tickets. And the parking tickets here are not cheap. For each parking ticket, it's like 60 bucks. 
Uh, they didn't even have any signs posted on the street, but apparently it's a city rule. Can't park between 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. I learned the hard way. But I had done it before got away with it. I guess you can't always get away with it. So I'm about to go ahead and pull those cars out, put them on the street, and then get to work. All right, so here's the car with the EML light. I'm gonna pull off the boots, diesel valve, throttle body, out of control valve. Pretty much all this side, replace all the vacuum lines, replace the boots, clean everything up. And when I have the throttle body out, I'll just check for any play in the actual flap itself. And we'll just see how it is from there. And if we need to replace it, we'll put another one on and we should be good. All right, so somebody already cleaned this throttle body as well as the idle control valve. So more than likely this throttle body is bad. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and put another one on. Uh, we'll clean that one up before we put it in, obviously. The idle control valve doesn't seem to be bad. I mean, they cleaned it pretty good. There's still a few spots where I'll clean it a little more, but we'll go ahead and clean this up some more and put another throttle body on. All right, so I just got a call from one of my neighbors. Their car, they have a E60 uh, 530, I believe, with the SMG transmission, and it broke down right on the corner of the street, so, uh, I think it was going on is like the transmission won't go into gear anymore. I think it's probably just the gear position switch or something. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go check it out really quickly, see if I get it to go back into gear and see if they can at least make it to the shop or drive it to their spot. And hopefully everything works out. So let me get some tools and let's go. All right, so I just got back. It ended up being the gear position switch. So I just reset it for right now. Just reset all the adaptations for the transmission as well. And then I just had to unhook the battery. I was able to get it to go back into gear. He's been having this issue on and off for a little while, but this is the first time it actually got stuck and turning it off and turning it on did not make a difference. So I am gonna try to get him in as soon as possible. I mean, I'm really slammed right now. We'll figure it out. But anyways, let's get back to this car. Go ahead and get this done and pulled out. All right, so I finished it up. I even uh, updated the whole DME to the latest software. Uh, I cleared out all the adaptations, cleared all the error lights on all of that. The only other issue that this car has is the ABS module. So this whole module down here, it's underneath the master cylinder and all that. And uh, there's an internal error on that. He is going to have to get that replaced. But besides that, this car should be good to go. So I'm about to turn it on now and take it for a test drive, make sure everything else is good, and we should be done with this. All right, so I had a great start this morning to the vlog. Even vlogged for a good solid maybe 20, 25 minutes. And then I went to go look at my buddy's car, actually my neighbor who's on another, whatever. But I, sh I told you guys where his car broke down, wouldn't go into gear. I went to take a look at that. And after that, I don't know what happened. I just got really slammed, didn't really vlog much. I had people over, uh, worked on that gray car. I know I showed that in the morning. But then the guy also told me that he wanted me to get the brakes done as well as the transmission fluid and filter. So I had to pull it back in. And another job that I had already scheduled, I had to do that, so I couldn't finish that one up in time for him to pick it up yesterday, or today, however you want to see it. But anyways, right now it's like 3 in the morning, and we're still working. Uh, I'm actually doing the Vano solenoids on this uh, E92. Uh, if you guys remember, probably earlier in this vlog, or last vlog, I actually did the whole cooling system, uh, the valve cover, and all that on here. So, after that, these codes did pop up for the Vano solenoids. Try to clean them. Uh, it did go, the code went away until the customer got home and then the following morning the code came back. So we're just gonna put new ones in and hopefully that resolves the issue.
or change one pulley, the tensioner with the pulley assembly. Change both vano solenoids. Uh, I also cleaned out the connector for the cam sensors and made sure everything else was good. And now I'm about to pull it out. And she's editing. Don't mind the mess, we just actually picked that up. Mess. We bought this pegboard, this cart, and those three little bin things. Cause we're trying to organize the shop up a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell, but we will. And we just actually unload this off the truck, which is why just sitting up here. Once I pull this car out, we can move it over and figure out what we're gonna do from there. But yeah, this car is really sturdy and actually really heavy. We only got it for like 60 bucks. All right, so that's it for today's vlog. As you guys saw, we did a lot of stuff. And make sure you stay tuned for more of these vlogs. We're getting a lot busier. We're trying to vlog as much as we can. We've got a bunch of small clips here and there. We're trying to make everything flow as much as we can. And besides that, make sure you go check out our main channels. Uh, her channel is BMW Selena, and she's gonna be doing her LS3 swap, and her, there's gonna be a bunch of updates on there soon, as well as my main channel, Shop Life TV, for any of your DIYs and any other cool videos that you might be interested in. But anyways, thanks for watching, and stay tuned.